Hi there, this is Jerry Shields, and uh, this is a look at the Rattlesnake Gulch uh, golf course that I designed, and a quick little tutorial on, on how I um, used the 2K21 designer to come up with some of this unique landscaping, um, this uh, this desert-like look with uh, mounds and and steep peaks and uh, you know the beautiful vistas in the background as long with some of the planting so uh, this isn't really going to be a, a tutorial on how to design a hole or or use the the designer specifically but more or less uh, how I came up with some of the features that you do see around uh, a rattlesnake uh, gulch so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to the part of the golf course here let's move over to number eight number eight was a par three a downhill and you can see that the background is rather uh, quiet uh, and uh, kind of missing some of the extreme mounding and shaping that we see here this kind of rock like texture so what I want to do is show you how I came up with that type of uh, terrain uh, for this golf course so so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to edit and then I am going to sculpt land and then I'm going to go to landscape raise so what this allows us to do is to raise and lower uh, terrain. Uh, I can choose a shape here. Right, let's just choose this one. And then I can change the height up and down. You can see I can build a peak or I can build a hole. So what I intend to do is choose some unique shapes to try creating some peaks. One shape that I found very useful in creating this course was this odd ball shape here. And you can see that it is uh, rather different, uh, but, and it created kind of an interesting uh, landscape for me. So I'm going to click on that. And what you will see is if you raise it, it creates these bizarre little peaks and also kind of associated valleys beside it. So, so I can expand this in size and I can make this smaller. So what I'm going to do is I am going to try to create this little bit of a, let's create this little bit of a, a a range of hills and mounds beside this hole. So we're going to start clicking and I just kind of move it around a little bit till I get something that kind of looks right. And we'll go over here beside the green a little further. And then I can spin it around as well. That way my mounding isn't always looking the same. And just by doing this all around this green, we can see that I am adding a bit of texture to the edge of that green. And who knows, I may actually not like this enough to keep it. But I am just going to keep on going. I say I want a little higher peak right there. It kind of looks interesting. So I'm going to go with that and spin this around again and uh, move to another spot nearby. And really, it's just kind of feel. It's it's uh, putting in what you want and going with it. Okay, this almost done uh, here. So that's kind of how I get that look. And, and if I want to just keep on going up and up with more and more extreme, uh, say behind the green here, I just increase my height. I can increase the size of the shaping. And uh, we can just start going for it. We can get these interesting peaks when you overlay one level on another. You know, I can exaggerate that one peak at the back that we can see there. Really sharp if I really wanted to. And build a few more beside it. So, so that's how I ended up with that look that you see around the golf course. And then when I built things, if I, if I really didn't like how extreme the peaks were, well then I would come along and I would do a little modification. I may choose a different shape, for example, uh, something like uh, this even, where I would uh, make it a little bit bigger and uh, the height being zero. So I would use this to kind of, I could move that over top of a shape and I could actually bring things up and down if I wanted to. If I thought that peak was a little too extreme, I could move over top of that and uh, click the button a couple times and you can see how it kind of takes things down and and uh, and also this by the same mark um, if I wanted to create depressions area I could go back to that same shape again and I can go negative with heights and now I can start creating these, these little deep 
valleys in and amongst the hills and create areas of negative height to, to coincide with the areas that are positive. And by doing this all over the place, I can create some little kind of ravines and valleys, as you can see there, that are now buried amongst. Let's throw a couple uh, higher hills in and around that depression there. And, and really, you can go back at any time and you can just undo your last button click and, and go again, or you can flatten it back out and start again, so you're really not tied to anything. So there, now we've got you know, a little bit of a low area buried in there with some surrounding higher hills. Now planting is, is the next thing I wanted to cover here real quick. And the planting is definitely a feel thing. Um, we're going to go back to adding objects and place objects, nature in this case, uh, plants, because I want to go with uh, some cactus. So here's our cactus. And planting can be really challenging. If you have a wide open area, say behind this green here, and you just plant a cactus, and plant a cactus, and plant a cactus, or say you try to do multiple objects and plant some cactus. It may work here and there, but to get that detail, that look that we see here, um, around the rest of the golf course, you really need to think about how things look in real life. You would find that in real life, especially in a desert, areas of depressions and areas that would collect water, for example, so areas that are more likely to have plants take root and grow. And also it seems that where vegetation exists, other vegetation wants to exist around it. You get some cactus, you might get a few shrubs, and you move away where there's hardly anything, and you might have uh, a little bit of grass and, and wasteland and then you go back in an area where there's there's more plantings um, say for example in this little gully here uh, you can see we have you know a lot more vegetation and a lot of it's buried in those little gullies you can see the the plantings there that run along the edge of that train so so the secret is to not just randomly plant things and go through the different layers but instead uh, plant something so if I was going to leave these cactus here I, I might might leave them there because cactus kind of grows in that wide open flat area. I may go back now with some bushes and I may put some bushes around the base of this cactus. So right off the bat now it has even a little more realistic feel to it that we've got that kind of a look in around our cactus. So we go back now, we've, we've also made that look a little more realistic. Now, so let's go over to the area where we have all this terrain here where we don't have anything in it. So let's look for those little indentations where we would imagine water is collecting. Now we're going to go back now and one trick that I like using is using trees. And I'm just going to go here to use placed objects. I'm going to find there's a there's a tree so you're, this this is a really interesting trick that I learned. So this is just a tree and I'm not going to plant this tree that would look ridiculous in this golf course scenario. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to take this tree, I'm going to make it really small and then I'm going to lower this tree into the terrain and now you can see I have what looks more like a bush instead of a tree that has some really nice texture so you see that little hollow there. I'm going to plant that tree right in that space. And I'm going to look for a few more hollows like that. I can see a nice one down in here. I can bury another little tree. And you can see back in here that I've done the same thing with some terrain earlier. And there's another little hollow in there. And I might put another tree in there. And then I might change it up. You don't want to do the same thing in the same tree in the same orientation or size. So I can go back in and I can grab some different bushes. So let's try to see what this bush looks like. This might be a brown colored bush. Yeah. And uh, so, so instead of a tree, this is actually a bush. But I will bury it again down in these hollows. And then I did put some dead trees in this golf course. And, and I'm going to go to the dead trees here. 
Now, the dead trees, in my opinion, are probably dead because they were lack of water or, or, or similar environmental conditions that caused it to not survive. So I'm not going to put this in a gully because that tree might have survived. It was actually available to have some water in this uh, kind of desert and steep climate. Instead, I'm going to put this tree up a little bit high and even make it kind of an accent feature. Say I've got the green here, people are shooting in at the green, and I want to put a nice dead tree in behind in an area that is kind of up on a ledge or slope. There we go. Spot like this right here. That tree died because it just simply didn't have enough water to survive. Let me get it in there just right. And it's really small right now, so I'm going to make that tree larger. Yep. Make sure that the roots of that tree look appropriate. They're kind of hanging over the edge, right? So I'm going to tuck it in just a little bit more. Yeah, something like that. And place that tree. So now when I back up, I take a look at this hole now. That tree kind of paints a nice interesting little silhouette and kind of breaks up that background that was rather monotonous. So yeah, think of think of the vegetation planting of being how would you expect it to exist in in the real world? And adding some color is always important. You'll notice over in uh, some of these waste areas that we've got a combination of you know we've got these brownish colored bushes here. We've got a little bit of small cactus, uh, one of the new objects available in 2K21. And then I've got this grass and this cactus and a few even brighter green shrubs and pieces of grass buried in there. So you want a little bit of variety so that when you look at this with the naked eye, you kind of it looks kind of random like nature would be. And you can see in there how I've got grassy areas in the low-lying areas where water might settle on it. Odd time this, this uh, climate gets rain. And then on the higher mounds, I've got them higher mounds are bare because uh, it'd be tough for any vegetation to exist there. Instead, it would be buried inside of uh, those little hollows and swales. So so really, once you build your train, and I always suggest on a, on a golf course, is uh, build your rough train first. When I built this, I built the, uh, the gulch, the low-lying area first, and I built up everything around it. And if I go to the back side of this golf course, something you can't see when you play the course, Look how outward, this is the outward edge of this plot that I've modified on the course designer. And you can see how ridiculous it actually looks. But when you're playing the golf course and on the golf course, you never see that. You simply see the background and all of the terrain that you've uh, created by hand. So, And you can see several examples of what I've shown you there with you know gullies with low-lying areas of vegetation. And then areas that are higher up um, where we've got trees in areas where, you know, It'd be unlikely for uh, much to, to, to grow. And then again, the cactus was kind of used as those flat areas like you'd see out in the Arizona desert. So that is my quick tutorial on how to build the terrain you see in uh, Rattlesnake Gulch and a little bit about some of the strategies I used for, for planting various uh, uh, types of uh, vegetation. And remember that trick about taking a tree and burying it down in the ground so you just see the top part of the tree? That's what all these are. These are actually trees. Um, if I was to go in here and mouse over any of this, this little, what looks like a bush buried in here, if I click on here and move it, whoops, tree, move, you see that that is actually a tree, it's not a bush. So that's one little trick to keep in mind for, for planting vegetation. The bushes are bigger, I find the resolution of the leaves is much better than using the actual bushes that are in the game. And uh, it works pretty well for burying things in these little tiny holes. So, so I hope you enjoyed this. It was a little bit helpful and insightful into in how our state gulch came together for me. And uh, as always, uh, if you enjoyed this, definitely like the video. Uh, I'm always looking at comments and, and trying to provide um, some explanations. So don't feel afraid to ask any questions. And, and certainly follow this channel. And, and uh, when I start developing more detailed uh, tutorials on how to build a golf course from scratch, um, then you'll get some notifications. and. Uh, and we'll uh, make use of that. So take care and uh, have a good day.